A network operator can brand the Rise Vision platform, have an unlimited number of client companies and displays in their network, create and share template presentations and gadgets, have their own demonstration presentations, provide a custom login URL for users to sign up and access the Rise Vision platform directly from their website, and provide a custom logout URL that can inform users about other add-on products. Click on the network link and the first thing we'll do is change the company logo that users will see when they log in. Below that I'll enter the URL I want to open in a new window when a user clicks on the logo. If you use Google AdSense you can use an AdSense banner instead of an image but for this example I'm not going to use one. I'll change the banner image that shows up just to the right of my company logo and I'll leave the banner target URL and banner background color as is. Let's update the URLs and email addresses for help, support, sales and news and if I don't want any of these links to show up I can just leave them blank. I'll provide a custom logout URL for users so that I can get feedback from them and provide links to other add-on products that I offer. I've unchecked show tutorial so the video tutorial pop-up doesn't show when users log in but I have allow new registrations checked since enabling this setting allows me to not only provide a login URL on my website for users to access the Rise Vision platform directly, but it also offers new users the ability to sign up in my network. I'll enter my Google Analytics ID so that I can track client traffic to my network. I've already selected a specific start page presentation that other users in my network operator company will see when they log in, and now I'll select one for my client companies to see when they log in. Finally, I'll add presentations that I want to appear by default when a new display is added to a company in my network. I'll add two presentations, each at their own resolution. Depending on the resolution of the display that's added, the appropriate demonstration presentation will come up. All that remains for us to do is to hit the Save button, and then we're done. Now, when a user in a client company logs in, they will see this presentation on their start page, and when they add a new display, they will see the appropriate demonstration presentation until that display is added to a schedule. Now that I have all my network operator settings ready, let's add a company to my network. Go to the Settings page, and there you'll see the option to add a company. Enter the name of the client you want to add to your network, and any other important information for that company. Once you're done, press save. Once you press save, you are now in that company. You can always tell which company you're in by the company name in the top right. Now I can add a presentation from a template, add a presentation from scratch, add a display, create a schedule, or add users to this company. If you haven't seen any of these tutorials, click on these links to be taken to the tutorial which shows you how to do the actions outlined. Press Reset to return to your network operator company. Let's quickly go over how to add a new company into your network. Go to the Settings page and click Add a Company. Enter the name and other information of the company you wish to add. Click Save and proceed to add any displays, users, presentations, gadgets, or schedules in that company. When you're finished, press the Reset button to go back to your company. After creating a user in that client company, when I log in as that user, I can see what the branded portal looks like for my clients. We see all the changes I made when I was on the network page, including the company logo and banner image, the appropriate links underneath the company name, and the user start presentation that I set for all client companies underneath my network operator company. On my company start page, I'm using the network operator dashboard presentation that is available as a template. It allows me to monitor my client company's activity, including active and total companies, displays, and users registration, an activity log showing company asset events, subcompany growth as a percentage, a map of all displays, and a list of failed displays. Now that we are presentation experts, let's build a multi-site presentation. 